Got some breaking news coming in. Matt Rule going back to college. The former Carolina Panthers coach has agreed to become the new head coach at Nebraska. Rule authored uh, successful turnarounds at both Temple and then Baylor before leaving for the NFL three plus years ago. He takes over at Nebraska, a program that hasn't had a winning season since 2016. But there is your first look at Matt Rule in that Nebraska red. The school says the future is bright in Lincoln. Go Big Red. Hashtag GBR. And for more on this news, we welcome in 24-7 Sports Nebraska football writer Mike Schaefer. Uh, Mike, uh, Nebraska's got their man and Matt Rule. What's your reaction? Maybe what's more, more important, what's the reaction in Lincoln amongst the fan base to this news? Yeah, this is a big deal. I mean, this was a guy that uh, has built, um, you know, a, a winning program at Baylor and Nebraska kind of needs someone that can come in and, and take over all facets of a program after everything that went on with Scott Frost for five seasons and Trev Alberts moving on after just three games in that opening or excuse me in his press conference after moving on from Scott Frost. He said he wanted a grinder. He wanted a guy who was going to, to put in the work necessary uh, to, to kind of build Nebraska back from where it's now fallen after multiple straight losing seasons. And Matt Rule fits all of those descriptions. They had sort of zeroed in on him in early November. Uh, it looked like this wasn't going to happen. Uh, the two sides met again this week, and they were able to nail down this agreement. And Nebraska has its next football coach. And it's a guy that I think Trev Alberts really sort of wanted. And it's a, it's a big day here in Lincoln. And so Matt Rule comes in, the 47-year-old let go earlier in the NFL season by the Panthers. As you mentioned, a lot of optimism uh, for this hire. Look, there was a lot of optimism when Scott Frost came in. It seemed like, how can you lose with Scott Frost? How beaten down is this fan base, and how eager are they to get back to what they remember Nebraska being? You know, it one losing season around here was sort of treated as the sky was falling when nebraska hasn't had a winning season since 2016 i think you can sort of imagine how things are here in lincoln and so with with all of the excitement that came with scott frost it felt like they never found their footing they they never were able to adjust to the big 10 style the offense that scott frost brought in broke pretty early on. And so the idea with, with Matt Rule is you're going to go get an established coach, someone who had success at Temple, someone that had success at Baylor, someone that went to a place in Baylor that, you know, really needed a turnaround. And he was able to evaluate and develop and, and find great players early on that are now populating teams in the NFL and sort of helped spur Dave Aranda's Big 12 championship last year. And so I think the, the idea with Matt Rule is he's someone who's not afraid to roll the sleeves up, put in the work. The idea that Lincoln uh, and, and Nebraska has struggled these last few years didn't scare him off. And this is an opportunity for a, a program builder to build again. He won at Temple. He won at Baylor. And, and the bet here in Lincoln is that he's going to win at Nebraska. Mike, I'm old enough to remember Nebraska getting rid of a coach because he could only win <laughs> nine games a season. That was Frank Zolich. The times have changed, but we know what the hopes and dreams are for the Big Red. What is a realistic expectation for Matt Rule in year one? in Lincoln? Well, I, I think the big thing is to, to just try to get this thing going. Um, to, to, you know, Nebraska's gone four and eight, three and nine, uh, three and five. I, I, you just want to get some wins, stack some wins on the board and uh, see kind of what happens with that. Because I, I think Nebraska just has to, to get back to bowl eligibility. And then they can start worrying about being a, a factor in the Big Ten Conference. And it, it starts with beating teams like Iowa, which Mickey Joseph was able to do on Black Friday and, and beating Minnesota and Wisconsin and now Illinois and, and Purdue. I mean, Nebraska had one win against Big Ten West teams each of the last two seasons. They have to beat their peers before they can worry about Ohio State and Michigan. And so if Matt Rule is able to kind of get them going in that direction, it's going to help uh, as they try to build everything else back up. Well, it is a big day and indeed a happy day in Lincoln, Nebraska. They got their man. Matt Rule will be the new head coach of the Huskers football program. Mike Schaefer, thank you so much for the knowledge and insight. Hey, thanks for having me on. And for more from Mike and the rest of our college sports crew, be sure to check out 24-7 Sports. It's the top spot for all your info surrounding college sports, not just breaking news, but also all the latest with recruits and can't miss storylines. It's 24-7 Sports. Check it out today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.